as a designer, there are people that you knew in the beginning of your career and watched their work your entire life. Mrs. Mellon, I think she was an artist herself. She was a world-class gardener, doing things like the Rose Garden at the White House. She created this incredible library at Oak Spring, even though she didn't paint a canvas. I mean, Oak Spring, you could say, was her big canvas. She had this unique ability to see the perfection and imperfection as well as she could see the perfection in something that was museum quality. Mrs. Mellon's interest in horticulture started at a very early age. She created her first garden when she was seven. She asked her father for a plot outside of their dining room window. When you have an interest, you know, it's like water. It finds its way into every aspect of your life, even when it comes to setting the table. Great style. And what does it come from? It comes from self-confidence. It comes with cultivating that eye. And it also just comes with a natural common sense about living life. I have a letter that I own that Jackie Kennedy wrote to one of her housekeepers with a little drawing of a casserole dish that was set into a, a wicker, a carrier. And the note said, please purchase some of these at Woolworths. Um, they're like the one Mrs. Mellon uses. When you can put a seashell that a grandchild gave you on a Louis XVI table next to a beautiful piece of porcelain, you're not thinking about pleasing other people. It's sort of the joy in beauty. It's creating beauty at every turn and doing something to draw your eye towards it, but not in that look at me kind of way. There was certainly a clarity in her style. To walk through Sotheby's, to see what is there, tabarets and footstools and painted bergeres and fauteuils that just, you know, are mouth-watering. The gardening objects that are divine. The art that is personal, and you know it's personal the miniature chairs, the incredible collection of painted furniture. There really is something for anyone that is interested in owning something from someone that had great vision and empathy for objects. This is an opportunity, I think, a sale like this because there are few and far between today. This was a person that was interested in certain things and they all interconnected. It's that sense of curation from the painting on the wall to the everyday object, and everything was used. It wasn't for decoration's sake, it was to use and live with. <laughs>